and welcome to New Gameplay. Today, I am Alex Stadnik. I am joined by the incomparable pair of two of the best GI editors we have. We have Ben Reeves. Hello, sir. Hello. What is this? Some kind of new gameplay today we got going on? I'm, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Uh, Blake Hester. Hello. Yeah, I just like to say, uh, take that other Game Informer editors. <laughs> I did say sub, not playing favorites. Uh, today, we are looking at Sable. A uh, game from Raw Fury that I think a lot of people have kind of taken note of for its its visual style, right? Um, I, the demo has recently come out as a part of the Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, just bear with me here, folks. I'm getting and up you're the playing. Yeah, now, let's be clear. <laughs> to, to be clear, neither Blake or I have touched this controller. <laughs> Correct. I except wanted, to sabotage it. Yes, exactly. I wanted to test out the the bike uh, durability here, so. Um, but yeah, it's you can play the demo now on Xbox, just on Xbox and Steam, I believe. So, um. this is a game, like you said, I think a lot of caught a lot of people's eyes because, like in just in images, still images alone, it looks really catching. Mm -hmm. And now that we've yeah. seen it in motion, yeah, ah. oh, and I think it still looks good in yeah. motion. Yeah, this uh, this is unbelievably striking. Wow. Yeah, like a total unique. Uh, visual experience and friends I have good news and bad news when it comes along with it so okay. um, the Hit me with it. the the good news is like that piece of it like the visuals here are I for me have been spellbinding is too hyperbolic but um, have been really <laughs> interesting and and has kept me, my interest in it um, and is something Does that bad news have anything to do with our pets <laughs> No, no, I don't think so. Okay. You could check on them, though, real quick if you wanted. Oh, uh, yeah. Reagan, you yeah. good? <laughs> yeah, she's good. She's good. Yeah. Um, not necessarily bad because this is a demo, right? And there's still time. But there is some rough around the edges pieces that I would like to see get cleared up before it comes out in September. Um, the the visuals and story are interesting to me and have kept me into it. Uh, you're playing as Sable, the titular hero you see here. Uh, she is about to embark on the gliding, which is a traversal of this desert world that we find ourselves on. She's going to leave her home camp and find some more. Her camp is filled with more nomadic people, and uh, she's off to, to go discover the wastelands. I don't know exactly what the the uh, main goal is, other than exploration and becoming a new person, you know? Um uh, so there's some interesting, and it seems very personal. Um, it seems very self-aware, um, and I like those aspects of it. It's kept me into it so far. Um, now, Alex, mm -hmm. I have a huge question for you, sir. Hit me. Um, how would you describe the game's soundtrack? It is very, uh, and I, folks, we're going to talk over it. I apologize, but definitely go check out the demo. It is like ethereal and chill, and has been i feel like this is a blake hester joint written all over it well you say that and the soundtrack is composed by michelle's honor of japanese yeah. breakfast fame blake, one of my, do you even compose games uh yeah i do uh japanese breakfast being one of my favorite bands probably of all time and so when i heard this news a couple of years ago i've been champing at the bit to hear what she produces for this Champing. Oh, say. that's interesting. So that new that's old news. I thought that came out this yeah, week. Came out a couple of years ago. And it's just like I think Sable, it's been it's been kind of convenient that it seems like Sable's most recent press push has come right as she has released um Jubilee, her most recent album. Hmm. So Japanese Breakfast is being talked about a lot, and I think Sable <laughs> has kind of been picked up in that. I saw actually Rolling Stone covering that uh she was doing the soundtrack for this game recently. But yeah. They announced that a couple of years ago, and I have been like super, super excited to check out what she produced for. Yeah, for sure. A classic glide move, except you're in a ball. This is unique, but OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it, it and I, know, I can already hear the comments rolling their eyes when I make the comp to, to Breath of the Wild. Right. But like it has a similar like climbing style to it. It doesn't have the glider, but it has this this ball that you that uh, surrounds you and you can traverse that way. Um, yeah, and and that those parts have been, have been good so far. I think where the rough edges come in is like you saw it a little earlier, right? I was trying to get out of a space, and the game was kind of registering that and kind of not. So it was like kind of jumping up and down a little bit. Um, and I've run into that a bunch of times. Also, you'll see uh, 
just at any basically any given frame the bushes like changing and like clipping a little bit um so there's definitely some like presentation stuff that i think still needs to be worked on but i think there's a heart and soul to this game that i'm very interested in yeah you mentioned the breath of the wild comparison which you know <clears throat> tons of games are getting that these days anyway but this game was in development before breath of the wild released mm, okay so breath of the wild mistaken. was inspired Sorry. by this <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say is yeah. Breath and Nintendo, a bunch of hacks. No, I'm just trying to say, like, I'm curious, like, how much of, like, Breath of the Wild's release influenced the development or if some of these things were already being planned before, I don't know, beforehand? I don't know. It's curious. Yeah. Yeah, this game, I feel like, has been uh, slowly simmering for years and years at this point. The fact it's, like, imminent is so exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. And like I said, I've been through the demo now twice and it, it did what good demos are, are supposed to do, right? It gets me intrigued for the main entry. And, and you know, we talked at nauseum earlier about the visuals and that was the main selling point to start. But I think there's a good story in here. It's just a matter of can they clean up some of these these tech hiccups before that. So um, but so right now the, the demo is basically introducing you to Sable and a couple me members of her village um and setting her up for the gliding which entails her getting her bike uh that is like the first piece of that adventure is being old enough to be able to pilot your own speeder bike like i saw like you saw me uh, driving around the desert in um and that's kind of how the demo ends too is like you putting together your first bike so and i forgive my ignorance here i don't know if you two know but like i'm wondering if you can customize and make more parts for your bike as the game goes on like and upgrade it in that way i i'd be excited by that i guess i don't know off the top of my head but i'm not sure yeah but I'm you can sure. do anything if you just mod the game <laughs> true <laughs> it's true true um, this game feels i mean i i know there there seems to be some technical issues which you know it's still in development mm -hmm. um but it, it, as far as I know, I, I could be talking out my ass here, but I think the game is like largely developed by two people and seeing it right now, even if it's like a team of four or five people, uh, hell, 10 people <laughs> is very impressive for everything going on in this game right now. What if it's 15 people, Blake? <laughs> well, I, if it's like a team of 200, that's not impressive anymore, uh -huh. but I think it's like two people <laughs> making this game, which makes this extremely no, impressive. I'm, I'm with you. I think it's a pretty small team. Yeah. Which it is interesting that that some very similar conversation was being had with Biomutant earlier in the year. It's like, oh, it's kind of Zelda-like. It's a very small team. Mm -hmm. Looks impressive visually. And then it came out and we're like, uh, yeah, but, you know. It didn't stick the landing on everything we wanted. It didn't stick wanted. the landing. So, fingers crossed, maybe this is the game that'll stick the landing. Okay, I, I looked it up. This uh, Shedworks is a two-person game development studio. Um, that's not to say there aren't other people working on this game in some capacity, but the developer only has two employees listed on its website. That's crazy. Good yeah. for them. Uh, one of the things that I don't show in the gameplay here, but if you go into their men menus, um, <clears throat> there's there's customizable clothing options, or maybe not customizable clothing, but like gear you can pick up. Cool. Like right now, I'm in. I think she's. It's called like a child's mask, and I think you start to you progress. As you progress through the game, you start to get more and more options. I like the trailers have shown her in more of like a horned outfit, or if I if I remember correctly. Um, so I I would imagine with how you put the bike together later that that would continue on through the through the game. But don't quote me. Um, but yeah, I I I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I want to see if they can fix some of the the issues beforehand. But uh, the demo, like I said, did what it needed to do and has me has me interested. So, I wish all video games were like this. Chill, just in a, visually, in in, visually interesting. Yeah, <laughs> add music from Japanese breakfast. <laughs> add music from my favorite bands. You yeah. know, um, this was another part I wasn't super thrilled with. This is the navigator. It's basically the idea is is good, but as you're seeing, it's kind of wonky a little bit. It's basically pinning uh on the map where you want to go so you know to to create my bike i was just instructed by sizu um to or Sizo to uh uh like go to these different waypoints right and um i have it now marked on 
on my compass, which I think I bring up here in a second. Um, but it just felt kind of weird and clunky. I accidentally do it here again, but yeah. So this is the compass. Um, I do appreciate the games. It feels like Ghost of Tsushima in the way that they want to keep you out of the menus as much as you can, at least from the demo. So like, you know, you throw your marker down, the compass is right there. Um, it'll always tell you where your your bike is and your main objective. So I, I I like that that it's keeping you engaged in the in the world that they've made here. Very cool to see that the character is animated at a different frame rate than the rest of the game. I love it. I love it so much. Well, uh, Spider Man, <laughs> whatever that what oh, was that movie called? Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, a little Spider Verse action going on there. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, if 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 you all want to check out the demo, like we said, it's a uh, uh, it's available now on Xbox and Steam. I don't know with the the ID at Xbox uh, demo event. I don't know how long it's lasting for. Some of those demos are only lasting for a uh, like seven to ten days. So be sure to check it out soon if you can. Uh, but gents, any any final thoughts here? Yeah, go listen to Jubilee by Japanese Breakfast. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Kokomo, Indiana, probably her best song ever. There we go. Ben, any... I don't know any... how to follow that up, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having us on, Alex. Sorry we're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I love you both, so... Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and viewers, uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, we're, we're coming out of E3, but we have plenty of awesome stuff on the YouTube page on... Uh, Twitch and then on uh, the website so go check all that out like share and subscribe you know the deal and uh, go check out Sable it's definitely worth I think it's worth the, the, the time in the demo so thanks and we'll see you next time